Well, good morning. Join me this morning on banks of my local river, who's long 10 mile bank. As you can tell, it's very, very blustery. Um, bit of a late start this morning. Um, literally, only just tackled up. Haven't even, haven't even had a cast. All I've done is plumbed up with the bomb and clipped up. So, literally, I've yet to put a feeder on, hook length on, anything like that. And the river's not moving. So I'm not going to be going at it um, gung-ho today. But with the wind, I'm going to be fishing an ounce feeder. Clipped on there. So I'm going to fish an ounce feeder and I'm going to fish three quarters of the way across the river. Rod I've chosen, I, I could get away with an 11, but with the wind, I'm going to fish my favourite 12 foot number two absolutely love this rod got it set with an ounce tip um six ten four thousand got five pound main line and six pound shock leader got my usual helicopter rig as you can see there and i've just clipped on an ounce nisa medium feeder um i think it's going to be tough today uh, but hopefully we might be able to snare one or two skimmers So I'm mainly going to be putting top worm, caster through the feeder and fish little bits of worm on the hook. So, probably look at fishing around about size 16. Yeah, I'm going to fish size 16, so it looks like a small bit of worm. Um, so 14 Cormac King fluorocarbon, and a size 16 Matrix MXB3. Not many left on there, so I'm going to tie a few up. And the beauty of using one of the quick change beads is just slide the plastic sleeve back, rubber sleeve back, and over the top, there we go, job sorted. So I haven't put any bait out whatsoever, so it's literally going to be first cast. So all I've got with me. Got a tin of sweet corn if I need it just behind me. Got some chopped worm and castor. Got some maggots. And I'll mix this ground bait up on the bank this morning. And that's um that's a point of brain crumb, half a bag of pro natural bream, and half a bag of bait tech uh pro -na uh pro natural lake fine dark and log say so that's darken that off a little bit sort of dark sort of dark golden brown colour not too dark there's a tinge of colour in the water not a massive amount but that fine lake dark sort of just takes that edge off it and yeah should blend in with the bottom just nice and beautiful the only thing I did add to it is some uh, some liquid molasses Added that as I was mixing. That's that. A pair of skizzers. Disgorger if we need it. That's it. Long sound, not going to be fishing a big bit of worm. Could probably get away with a size 18. But I'm going to start with the 16, just see what's about. I can always drop down a hook size if I have to. So I'll just nip the head off. I 
I'm going to tip that off with a caster. There we go. Pinch chop worm caster in the ground, mate. And here we go. Nice little bit of shout from this big tree. On the old clip, straight under. Just sink the line. Hopefully the, the rain's all disappeared. Really deep here. You're looking at probably about 20 foot deep along this bit here. Just tighten down to it. So I've not put out any bait. I'm probably going to look to be having some quick casts, sort of round about three minute, three, four minute casts. If we'll get any indications, you know, then we'll uh, sort of react the cast accordingly. And the boat first cast, then all the wind. So it is a bit breezy. we'll see so it's lovely lovely bit of water especially if you like deep water fishing So I'm just going to sit with my rod just over me down on the down to the water. You can tip out the wind as much as possible. Hence the reason sort of sat an angle as well. Got the van behind me acting as a bit of a windbreak as long as it, as well as this tree. My self light figure will also act as a bit of a windbreak. So I'm just going to have three, four minute casts, something like that. See how the fish react if there's any about. I'm hoping with this wind, a bit of overcast, might get one or two skimmers. Caught a fair few skimmers further along last week. One or two guys up there today. This is nice and comfortable, straight out the back of the van onto the peg. And might be able to get away with a bit lighter feeder. So you start with an ounce with that wind. Bit, bit, we'll change its direction, it's meant to swing round a little bit. That ounce feeder will just punch straight through that wind of tree. See how we get on, hopefully. In with you a bit, we might start by getting one or two bites. Not a big fish. First bite, sort of after about an hour. Looks like a perch. It's a Percy perch. So 
bass first bite. Beautiful. They got lovely spiky old dorsal fin. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Got it right down him. Nice little start. As my mate John says, little bit of a Christmas present there. So hopefully be able to get one or two fish now. And say, so, I've had the odd sort of little indication. Oh, nice little, little worm, mate. Straight through the head. Tip it off with a caster. We'll see if we can get one or two more. It's a Percy perch. Look at that lovely colours. Beautiful Percy perch. <laughs> oh, we had another perch, but. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That is an absolute cracker of a birthday present because it is my birthday today. That is an absolute beautiful roach. Look at that, eh? John, you can keep your Christmas presents because that's Steve's birthday present. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful fish. On the little piece of worm, see if we can get one or two more. Got the brolly up. We had a little bit of rain. I thought I ain't going to take the chances. And have you got to say, very nice and very comfortable. Be at that wind a little bit. And to catch a roach, like that, even better. Lovely roach. Few of them. Beautiful fish. So it's uh, it's not easy by any means, but sort of swapping between the hook baits. Single red maggot now. A few on the worm. Now. One on the caster. Just on the single maggot. Water levels dropped. Um, oh, a couple of inches. Speak of a fair amount of rain tomorrow. 
so probably getting ready for it but you know an airlock won't come on the drop Hoy Brit proper holy brick this time beautiful roach bream holy brick beautiful as I was saying it's not not climbing up the line but Boys. Keep putting that little bit of pinch of worm and cast her in with the ground bait. Not a lot, not overfeeding it, because sometimes a worm can be the kiss of death, and other times you just got to pile it in. So you're always best to fill your way in. on the water yeah, it's not like I say it's not moving on the top much it's definitely moving underneath because I can fish with a slack tip and that will slowly pull round in the toe he just fishing it just off the water Loads of little fish, loads of fry, little roach and little rud and a bit linen amongst them. They absolutely love a bit of ground bait. A little bit of ground bait in and these little fish are going, coming from all over the place. Beautiful to see. Out. When the wind blows, it's a bit of a job to see them little bites. Most of them have been just slow little pull rounds. Lovely roach. Look at that. Absolute pristine, imperfect, beautiful fish. I 
it's been a lovely few hours so far. It's sort of, what's going on there? Hang on, it's two o'clock. Two o'clock, so I'll start at half eleven. So, in fishing two and a half hours, I've had, I've had some roach. I've had that one hybrid, like a few perch. It's nice to get a few bites. So, as you can see, there's a lot of dark clouds about so I think we've been quite lucky so far now and again just get a bite out of the blue I'm catching one or two roach further up so chap just stopped by he said he'd had to Nice now roach fishing the tears on the whip. So it just shows there's uh, there's a lot of fish about. No matter what what um, method you use, pole, whip, feeder, even fish the waggler, there's bites to be had. Do, 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 do. So much massacred that on the way down. Let's grab that on the way through. Probably a little roach or a little hybrid. Beautiful roach, look at that, eh? Woohoo! Absolutely pristine. A lot of bait in the ooze system at the moment. I mean, you sort of talk back end September through October. Some real good sessions to be had on the roach on along on the on the ooze here, Little Port, Ely. Another nice roach. Well, it's been a lovely few hours. Took a while to get a bite. Started off by catching one or two perch and started getting the odd roach. So the wind swung round now, which is uh, brought in one or two dull clouds by the looks of it. Beautiful roach. So it's brought across one or two 
dark clouds which uh, do not look very inviting to say the least. So it won't be long before we're on the way. Catch one more. You can see I've been putting a pinch of worm in every time, so that's what we've got left. You know, that was almost up to there when we started so just by putting a pinch in every time you know so it got through a fair amount and the ground bait how full that was at the start well, that's what we've got left having a, have a, I haven't topped it up I've got some in the bucket behind me I haven't topped it up that's just by using that feeder having those regular casts Keep that bait going in you've got to keep this deep water like i say even using that small feeder you know it's not a lot of bait i mean we've me and a couple of mates have discussed this in the past that even if you put a ball of ground bait out in this deep water it's it's nothing you know when you think you've got 20 foot of water the depth of what it is it, you know it, it, it's nothing it's just like a drop in the ocean so having regular casts on the on the feeder keeping that bait going in regular is a lot better than just having a cast and just sitting on it and waiting you've got to keep that bait going in thing is with this depth of water as well depending on if you're going to fish the pole you know if you're going to loose feed then you've got to be prepared to come up off the bottom because these fish in this depth you know you loose feed they're not going to stay there they're not going to stay on the bottom you only got to watch like the all the fry that are swimming around under your feet you drop a ball of ground bait in and straight away they're up off the bottom and they're intercepting it and that's no different out there if you've got five, six, seven ounce roach, you know, you're fishing the, se fishing the seed, or fishing the tares, fishing the wheat, you lose feeding, and then roach are, are gonna come up and intercept it. And when you've got 20 foot of water, that's a lot of water to try and find that depth, what them fish are intercepting that loose feed at. So it's uh, starting to cloud up a little bit behind, so just see if we can catch one more and we'll be away. Ooh, fishy, 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 fishy. tiny tiny indication then just totally slowly pulled the tip don't see it looks say like there now that flow's eased those bites just seem to be a lot shyer a, I think I'll bump that one yeah hit that one too soon just tiny tiny movement on the tip bump that fish
See if we can get a quick cast in. Start to cloud over a little bit and winds turn round like I said earlier and I think as good drop a little bit of moisture so I'm going to get this gear together a bit quick the nets already up the bank going to be drying and I'm going to uh, get it in the back of the van head back home as quick as a flash get it in the garage and hopefully not get wet but more importantly oh look at that little beauty hey eh? absolutely beautiful roach beautiful roach that's the highlight of my session like I say don't get many big old roach through here you get them sometimes on the wheat on the tears like I say I've had that one on the tip and that is a beautiful 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 birthday present from 10 mile bank to myself so thank you very much for all the birthday wishes and I'll catch you next time on the bank. Oosh! Hee <laughs> hee!